are Master Air Screw stealth props any good for DJI drones? They claim to increase performance and battery life among other things, so I'm going to test them and find out just how good they really are. G'day superstars, if you didn't know what these Master Air Screw props are or what they do, well then I'll give you a quick overview. Apart from looking awesome, they claim to increase flight time by 5%, which is a whopping 1.6 minutes on top of your battery life. They're supposed to improve on flights in sports mode, and they're supposed to have a different pitch in sound. So I'm going to do a series of tests which will test flight speed as well as battery life. And I've heard some people talk about in forums about hover stability, so we're going to check that out as well. And we'll see if there really is a sound difference between the two propellers. I'll be doing all the tests on the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, but these propellers are available for every DJI drone that's out there at the moment. And I'll put all links in the description for you if you want to check them out for yourself. Now first up, we're going to check the battery life, and the only way to do that is in a controlled environment. We can't do it outside where there's wind and other interferences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same battery, and I'll time it from the exact moment it launches to the exact moment it lands. Then I'll let the drone cool down, obviously. I'll recharge that very same battery so we haven't got battery discrepancy, and I'll do the test exactly the same with Master Air Screw props as well. The first one I'm going to do is going to be with the stock propellers that came from DJI, and the second test I'll do will be from the Master Air Screw Stealth propellers. I'm going to set a stopwatch from the time that it lifts off the ground to the time it touches the ground afterwards. So it's going to be noisy in here for about an hour or so, but I'm pretty sure we'll get an accurate result. First up is the DJI Mavic 2 Pro propellers that came with the drone when I bought it. There we go. That was pretty noisy in here for a while and my ears are still ringing, but I'm gonna do the test one more time. We've charged the battery again, back to full capacity, and we're gonna try it with the Master Air Screw propellers now. All right, we're at full battery again. Here we go. Now that we've done that, I guess it's time to go and test the speed of this thing, so let's go outside. and I'm gonna raise it to 55 meters. I'm gonna make sure the drone is in sports mode. And I'm gonna push forward at full speed. I'm gonna do that four times, and I'll work out the average speed over those four times in case there's any wind resistance in that time. Now I've got the sexy red uh, Master Air Screw propellers on. Let's give this a shot, hey? Eh? And then I'll do exactly the same thing with the Master Air Screw props, and we'll compare this at the end. All right, now let's check out the sound. Let's see if there is a difference in the sound. So I'm gonna put these images side by side and we'll switch between the two sounds and we'll see if we can hear a difference in the pitch. And while we're doing that, let's check out the hover stability as well. Let's see how stable each one of these propellers are. All right, let's check out the results. The battery life. DJI claimed that this particular drone will get 26 to 28 minutes of flight time. I didn't get that much flight time because my battery is 12 months old, so that could come into play. So what are the results, you ask? Well, the standard props, I got 25.3 minutes of flight time. But on the Master Air Screw props, I got 26.5 minutes of flight time. So I definitely did get more flight time out of the Master Air Screw propellers. Well, as I showed you before, there clearly is a difference in pitch between the two propellers. The Master Air Screw seems to be a deeper noise. I couldn't tell you if there was a difference in volume between the two because they sounded pretty similar to me. There may be a minus or plus decibels between one or the other, but I couldn't tell you what they are. So let's check the balance between the two. Well, here they are side by side. And as you can see, the Master Air Screw moves around a hell of a lot more in the air than the other one does. There's no interference in this room. No doors or windows are open. This room is contained. There's no movement of air whatsoever. But for some reason, the Master Air Screw propellers just make the drone move around a little bit more. This is not an issue for me from what I do for my job, but if it's an issue for you for whatever reason, at least you know that there is a difference. All right, let's get to the speed test. After multiple flight tests, the average speed of the DJI propellers was 20.4 meters per second in travel. And the average speed for the Master Air Screw propellers was 20.45 meters per second. So there's almost no difference between the two of those in speed. So I thought maybe one gets there faster than the other. So I timed how long it took to get to that top speed. It took the DJI propellers 10.16 seconds to get to that top speed, 
and it took the Master S group propellers 10.26 seconds to get to that top speed. So there's nearly no difference and that difference could come down to wind resistant because we're outside. The wind could have picked up for that one or two seconds during the course of a couple of flights and that increases that flight time. There's almost no dif difference in speed or thrust between the two propellers. But the one thing I did notice is I flew both tests from a cold start engine. So I waited for the drone to cool down between flights. So I did flights all DJI and then I did flights all Master Airscrew and I had a cooling down period in between. As you saw, I did the DJI test first and the Master Airscrew second. And I noticed after the Master Airscrew test that the motors were much, much cooler to touch. They were nowhere near as hot to touch. So maybe that's where the bonus is. You get the same speed, same thrust, but you don't get your motors working quite as hard. And now for the conclusion. Well, I've been using these propellers for quite a while. I never really paid much attention to the stats. I basically bought them because I wanted to have propellers that look good and I thought maybe the color red would deter birds. And I have noticed that once I put reflector tape on and put these propellers on, there has been a clear difference, much, much less aggressive attacks from birds or even them getting close as they were before. And the other bonus of these props is that they are clearly visible. When they're spinning, you can really see them. It's a bit harder to see the DJI one spinning but you can see the Master Airscrew one spinning very easily in bright sunlight or cloudy days or whatever, which may be the reason why birds don't get so close because they can actually see what's there. That, along with the pitch difference in sound, may not irritate the birds as much as the standard props do. So although the stats aren't hugely different, you get a bit more flight time, your motors don't work as hard, and they look cool, and birds tend to leave them alone. So I may just fit them to my DJI Avada FPV drone and do a review on that as well. And speaking of my DJI Avada, if you want to know what it's like to be a beginner when you first fly one of these things, click this video here. You'll see exactly what it was like for me the first time I flew it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.